Hey, good morning, it's day two in Honersbach and I'm running down the high street. It's about six in the morning. Oh, by the way, if you saw my video yesterday, that was the supermarket we were in. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but it is so much bigger on the inside. And I was really surprised at the selection and the prices of everything. Like the prices were pretty comparable to what I pay in the United States for groceries and all that. So it's pretty good. I didn't expect it to be that cheap and the selection would be that big. So I woke up this morning about five o'clock without an alarm and it took me a little bit to get out the door. You know, I'm on holiday, so I don't really rush. But I sat and had a coffee. The sun was blazing from the moment I woke up. And of course, Norway, you know, this is the land of the midnight sun. And actually between May 13th and July 31st, uh, the sun doesn't set in Honingsvik. Uh, so that's fun. This is a nice time of year to be here. I don't think I'd like to be here in the winter quite so much, but luckily I don't have that option. So we're going to get back up on the hill. You can tell I'm already getting a little bit breathy or oh, running up these steep roads, but I'll get up on the hill and we'll check in in a little bit. I think I know where I'm going, but just like yesterday, I'll follow my nose. I'm climbing up to the first part of this this mountain although I'm in a valley I'm not climbing all the way up there like I did yesterday although we will be getting that high I'm just going a little further it's such a beautiful area so I'm thinking that today's run is not going to be as as harrowing as yesterday's run although I didn't actually plan yesterday's run to be harrowing I just kind of found myself in some tricky situations with rocks and cliffs and not sure how I'm going to get down off the mountain but I was never that far away from home and I've got cell reception all over so I'm totally safe but still I think I'm going to be following more of a marked trail than I was yesterday it's very hard to follow the trail over the scree but we'll see and I have a couple hours this morning to go out and explore after that we've got an excursion to North Cap North Cap is it's the northernmost point in Europe that is accessible by car. Come a long way, got to get to the northernmost point. I may check in at North Cap just to say hello uh, and show you guys, but it won't be running related. I will, I will be done with running by then. I think the temperature when I got started was about 57 degrees Fahrenheit. So what's that? 13 or 14 degrees Celsius. Doesn't get much better than this temperature, especially with the blue skies to go out for an adventure. Oh, it's a little flatter right now. Okay, let me try and speed up just a bit. Uh, before I left today, I put on a lot of sunscreen. Obviously the sun is gonna be on me the entire day. I did not expect it. Oh, I did not expect to have to wear sunscreen all the way up here, but oh, it's warm. It's warm, I'm getting some, a little bit of downhill now. Oh my gosh, I'm at that lake that I was going to yesterday. See how gorgeous that is? So this was actually the run that I planned to do yesterday, but now I'm seeing it, I'm glad I didn't. Oh, just because it was so short, like I'm here already and I've only been running for 20 minutes. It was much more fun going across that ridge, but I think I see where I'm going. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a loop today, uh, just because I have no idea if there is a loop or if I'm going to do an out and back. We'll see in just a few. Hey, the trail kind of disappeared into this scree field. It's a little sketchy finding my way up. I did come across this, which it's a bone. I don't know what that actually means for me. Maybe this was uh, the last runner that came up here. I don't know. I think I see a trail up there, but you just can't follow the trail on scree. Anyway, I'll toss that bone. This is seriously so much fun so much fun oh, you see they've got their like their little fisheries set up down there in the harbor this isn't honingsburg this is another town at this point so they've got quite a way up take a look at that yeah that's still got quite a way to go oh well come on i made it up that ridiculously steep rock face I'm at the top of this ridge. Okay, so I've got to say, the, the views were worth it. However, 
I don't know if I was following a trail. It seemed like I was on a trail at times, but it was just so sketchy. I was on all fours, like I was climbing a ladder for a lot of it, and that just didn't seem safe. I was a little uncomfortable. I'm glad to see that I don't have to go that way down because I would not want to do that. I'd be very uncomfortable if I had someone else with me going up the side of that hill. Whew. But now, oh geez, I'm like right on the ridge line. Look at this. It's like what you see on TV with those ultra runners bounding across the ridge line. It's all a bit moss covered and slippery, so I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna walk while I can. Still, what an adventure. Oh my gosh, like the other side down there. I don't know if it comes across on the camera. It looks like it drops straight down into the harbor. So mental note, stay away from that. I actually stopped at the top for quite a few minutes. Just, I tell you, I just cannot get enough of these views. And if we look over here, that is the, that's the lump of snow that I came through on yesterday's video. And then right in front of me, we've got a few more little lakes with pockets of snow all around. I think I'm going to have time to go down and around those lakes and then I will just come back through the valley much like I did yesterday when I came down off that ridge line. But I've got to get over there first. It doesn't look far, but in this terrain it's a, it's a lot further. Alright, I made it down off that mountain behind me. Now I'm next to this alpine lake. And look, it seems like you're right down at, you know, ground level. Well, we are at ground level, but you know what I mean? It seems like we're a lot lower. But then if you look on the other side of me, you can see how high we actually are. We're still quite high. And I wonder how fresh the water is in that lake. I mean, obviously not drinkable, but my life depended on it. I would drink from that. All right, so right now we're working our way around this alpine lake. There is a trail. It's a bit, a bit dodgy to follow, but I'm on it. I'm definitely on it. There's a lot more moss at these lower elevations. At the top, you can see it's just nothing but scree. The moss actually makes for a nice soft landing, a lot more so than the rocks. It looks like we've got a little bit of a stream crossing here. I'm going to see if I can not get my feet wet. Uh, that would be ideal. Okay, success. Feet are still dry. My feet got a little bit wet on yesterday's run just because there were some streams rolling off the mountain as I was coming down, but it's all good. They dried overnight. And I mentioned it yesterday, but these Hoka Challenger 7s. After this run, after these uh, this vacation where I've been doing a lot of trail running, the Hoka Challenger 7s are definitely in contention for my running shoe of the year. Challenger 7s, a solid shoe. All around solid shoe. Disaster has struck. I mean, I guess disaster is all relative. But uh, when I was on the top of that peak, the highest point I'm going to go today, right after I climbed that sketchy, that sketchy ascent, I paused my watch at the top to take in the views. And then the disaster is I forgot to restart it for about 20 minutes, coming down the side of the mountain. So, oh my gosh, you think I should just give up? If it's not going to be accurately recorded on Strava, what's the point of all this? Uh, on the bright side, I did come over a ridge and I saw the Barents Sea on the other side of this peninsula. Uh, it's not a peninsula, it's an island that Honingsvag is on. So I am actually going to try and get a little closer to the other side. Uh, I looked at it on a map, obviously, before I set out, but I didn't realize it was so close. So I'm going to just try and get a little closer before I have to turn around and head back. Got to keep an eye on the time now because my watch isn't accurately representing how long I've been gone. Ooh, there's some snow over here. I'm not sliding. It's not steep enough for me to slide down the hill. And now my butt is soaking wet. Ooh, let me get off the snow before. I really hurt myself. You can see the sea right there on the other side of uh, 
the island. It's a little further than it looks though. I did look at it on a map. It looks like it is the same distance as I've already come to get there. So if I did go all the way down to the sea, probably wouldn't have time to get back, but I think I'm gonna take a different way home. I'm gonna, I saw another valley right up here. And if worse comes to worse, I will just go right up the mountain and go over. But I think at this point I wanna avoid that just because it was so sketchy last time. Pretty lush, it looks like, or it sounds like, all the snow melt is coming off this side of the island just because there is, there's a sound of waterfalls all around me. I can see a big one kind of meandering down the hillside over there. All right, change of plans. Remember I said I wanted to go up a different valley to get back? Well, it turns out it wasn't so much of a valley as it was just a, a recessed incline to the top of the mountain. So because I had gone so far to get to it and my aversion to out and backs, I am going to do a little climbing again and go up to the top and then I'll find my way down somewhere else. I made it over that sketchy mountain down the other side. Coming down was a lot more difficult. Uh, there was no way I wanted to turn the camera on and take focus away from going down. It was uh, it was like climbing a ladder almost, except instead of nice smooth rungs, there were jagged rocks all underneath me. But I'm back on a, a primary trail running through the valley and uh, I'm coming up on that lake again. This whole time, in fact, look at this, we're running right next to the lake. So nice. Uh, this whole time I've been moving forward as quickly as possible, as, as quickly and safely as possible. And yet I think one of my mile splits was 27 minutes uh, when I was climbing, using my hands to get up the side of the hill. Can't really go much faster than that or risk killing myself. All right, I know exactly where I am now. We're at the dam again. This is actually, I didn't see this yesterday, but this is actually uh, drinking water, I guess, for this town right over here. It's not Honingsberg, it's something else. But there is a sign that says no bathing in that lake. I just got one more climb up that path and then it's downhill, downhill all the way to the harbor. Here's that sign I just mentioned. Uh, drinking water, no drinking, I guess this cup means. No bathing, no fishing. And when I stopped, I just realized how quiet it is. It's pretty idyllic here on the water. It's so lovely. My ears have been filled with my own uh, heavy breathing, gasping for breaths as I climb up out of this valley. But it's really quiet, it's lovely. Hey, right, back to it. All right, I'm on this last climb and I see this. There's a big snow patch right over there. That one is definitely steep enough for me to slide down. The only thing is that it ends in like a pool of jagged rocks. So, I mean, it would be fun for a second, but uh, the ending wouldn't be pleasant. I think I'll skip it today if it's all the same with you. All right, almost to the top then. I actually get to start running. All right, I get to open up my stride a little bit. Coming down, oh, it feels good to move at a clip. I notice I have a few minutes until I'm supposed to be back and meet in harmony. Look at this church behind us. It's a lovely, it's so old. So I thought I would just run through the town of Honingsvak just for a few minutes, just to show you guys and I guess also see for myself. Now, you may or may not know, but Honingsvak was incorporated as a city in 1996. Also, you're probably aware that in uh, 1997, Norway passed legislation that said that a town or a city had to have at least 5,000 residents for it to be classified as a city. But luckily, Honingsberg was grandfathered in because they incorporated the year before that legislation passed. And that's what makes it one of the smallest cities uh, in the north of Norway. I'm running out on the, the jetty that separates the Barents Sea from Honingsberg Harbour. And oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I hope I can, oh my gosh. I know I'm gonna have to zoom in for you guys to see that. Two mink whales just came up and crested and their tails were 
uh, out of the water right there. I can't believe I got it on camera. I was just about to tell you guys that yesterday when we came in, we saw so many mink whales, like more mink whales than, than I could count. And honestly, I was getting a little whale fatigue. I was so excited to see them. And then after an hour of just seeing whales constantly, it's like, ah, come on. Show me something different. No, I'm just kidding. The whales are absolutely fantastic. I'm actually going to be late getting back to the ship now because I sat here so long. So just to fill you in, there are four mink whales feeding just, just offshore. And this little GoPro is no good for capturing something in the distance, but the whales were close enough that I could hear them when they spouted, when they, when they blew out their air breathing, when they surfaced. You can see them out there right now. <laughs> Probably not, but they're right there right now. Seriously, this is absolutely amazing. What a way to end the run. Uh, if I come around here, you can see the ship is right over there. It's probably uh, maybe half a mile left to go, but I'm pretty happy with this run. It was good and I will wrap it up when I get back to the ship. Oh, another super, super fantastic run today. So I managed to record 10K or 6.2 miles. But remember, I have to add another 20 minutes onto that and probably, if I'm generous, give myself another mile. Uh, I was moving for an hour and 36 minutes. And then, of course, I was probably like 40 minutes, 20 minutes when I was not recording, another 20 minutes watching the whales. And I did have, according to Strava, an elevation gain of 1,581 feet. So, pretty happy with that. That was a, that was a solid morning out on the trails. Look at this thing. It's just, it's a giant crab trap, just like we're on Deadliest Catch. Uh, there are some giant king crab out there, out there in the ocean. Hey, if you've made it to this point in the video, I know that me talking, just running up and down mountains is a little bit of a slog for you, but if you have made it to this point, why don't you drop the whale emoji in the comments for obvious reasons. And with that, be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you in a couple of days. Sorry if it's a little windy, but I said I was gonna check in at the North Cape. And if we look over here, you can see, where is it? Uh, oh yeah, right here. That is the northernmost point of Europe that is accessible by car. I think there was another point. I think that may be slightly further north, but officially that is the, the northernmost point of Europe that is actually accessible by vehicle. So you can see right over here, there is a big campsite. A lot of people come here camping but again super nice weather we just we have just been having such a good time and we're so lucky because it's sunny and i'm wearing a t-shirt all right now that's it be kind be happy run well i'll see you in a couple of days